to know more about the world. Don't give up. I will recommend Japan. It is awesome. New experience. New connections. Go for it. Just go. And you will find a new world. Osaka is a large town in western Japan. It is adjacent to Kyoto and Nara, which are famous tourist destinations with good transportation. Easily accessible from central Osaka is the Graduate School of Engineering Science. The campus is located in a suburb with security and greenery. The Graduate School of Engineering Science was established in 1964. Combining both science and engineering, along with their fusion of research, the school promotes human resources development. While science conducts research that deepens one's specialty, engineering conducts research that society requires. The engineering science combination fulfills basic research that considers the needs of society. Another feature of engineering science is the attractiveness of science and engineering research. Among Japanese national universities, this is unique to Osaka University. In the Graduate School of Engineering Science, world-leading researchers are conducting research to open up a new world. High-impact research results with high originality are shared with the world through publications in top journals and more. For example, Professor Masahiro Kitagawa is conducting research on quantum information devices. This includes a technology for determining the effect of anti-cancer agents in a short period of time by improving the sensitivity of MRI by 10 million times. Professor Keisuke Fuji is advancing research while collaborating with experimental and theoretical groups to realize new quantum ideas. Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro is the first person in the field of intelligent robotics. He is studying what humans are through robot development in order to realize intelligent systems that support future human society. The Graduate School of Engineering Science consists of three departments and 11 divisions. Based on physics and chemistry, the Department of Materials Engineering Science applies comprehensive theory and experiment research activities to develop new functions of substances and future substances useful for the future of humanity. We study the functions of molecular aggregates which are absent for isolated molecules and emerge only when the order and randomness of the aggregate structures are well balanced. Integrating engineering with science is our basic concept. In the aspect of establishing a new functional self-assembly system for the application of the material and medical fields, designing based on the engineering and the scientific approaches are both essential. My research is supporting artificial intelligence through novel materials design. I have to say the people and their hospitality. During my first few months, everything was new to me and I got a lot of help from the pure strangers for many times. And I have my host family which is provided for by the university and we hang around for one cement. So, and the foods of course. Education and research in the Department of Mechanical Science and Bioengineering focuses on the mechanisms and fundamental principles underlying man-made systems as well as living organisms. In addition, societal, environmental, health, and industrial issues are addressed with the integration of advanced sciences and technologies. Traditionally, fluid mechanics is a field of science, but of course it has many applications in the engineering. In fact, in our school, there are world-leading researchers of fluid mechanics, and we are studying many aspects of the fluid mechanics. For example, I'm interested in the complex flows and I'm, I'm collaborating with physicists, geophysicists, 
chemists, mathematicians all over the world in addition to our school. I'm also collaborating with engineers in, the, in some companies. So I think that the, our school, that is the School of Engineering Science, is the right place for me to study this subject. Our primary research field is biomedical engineering, uh, specifically neuromechanics, for understanding how the human brain controls uh, movement of our body smoothly and stably, uh, such as during upright standing and bipedal walking. Um, moreover, uh, we apply advances in our scientific understanding to translational researches for developing uh, novel diagnostic and therapeutic medical systems for patients with neurological diseases and uh, elderly people. Uh, to this end, we've been closely collaborating with medical doctors and uh, physical therapists. My research area is bioengineering at the molecular and cellular levels in which we are trying to understand how cells, living cells that constitute our body, are going to adapt to changes in the surrounding environment. Because I think biomedical engineering will shape the future. I'm the member of Kiona Lab and I know Professor Kiona for quite a while. We started collaborating when I was doing my master's degree in Ukraine and I was interested in chaos theory and nonlinear methods. And uh, Professor Kiona Lab is one of the most advanced labs in this field. In order to contribute to the development of the information society, the Department of Systems Innovation offers a wide range of education and research from hardware technology, such as electronics, system science, and mathematical science, to system design and mathematical analysis. I think the real pleasure of research is becoming a area that no one knows. In other words, at first glance, different things are gradually connected and you can share historical discoveries and relieve the excitement of researchers at that time as a common experience. Our lab is a top tier research lab in robotic mesh relation. We have a strong connection with industry. We are in academia, but we train our students to not only publish high quality research results, but also develop systems that meet the requirements raised by our industry partners. Back in 2015, I spent one incredible year here in the School of Engineering and Science, and uh, I decided to come back for my master's degree now. Studying abroad widens your perspectives in so many ways. Being presented with uh, a new culture, a foreign language, food that you are not used to, all those things can really challenge you and push you to grow in a way you never would have thought possible. So my advice is, don't wait any longer, go for it. We have international academic exchange agreements with many overseas universities. We also engage with researchers and students through collaborative research. In addition to sending young researchers and students to major overseas universities, we are active in accepting international students from different countries. Currently, about 230 international students from around the world and about 80 foreign researchers are enrolled. Our graduate school sends approximately 40 students overseas each year. Graduate education courses in English, known as special English programs, are offered. Numerous courses are provided in Japanese or English every other year to ensure the same curriculum for both international and Japanese students. International students and Japanese students are working together and in a very good relationship. And also the good thing is uh, different nationalities have their different research style that motivates students each other. Students who have completed their research at the Graduate School of Engineering Science often advance to the manufacturing industry and to the field of information and communications, with many researchers active throughout the world. 
We are very international in our lab. More than half of the research staff and students are from foreign countries. Their originality spans Asia, America, Europe, and Africa. We have different ways of thinking. Our ideas clash and forge a new understanding of the robotic world. I will work in pharmaceutical company from next April. I would like to work in Japan as a researcher. Advancing to a doctoral degree, I want to contribute something to the world with my research.